Hello and welcome to this support video. In this video I will explain how you can build a site in the studio and how you can make changes there and show those changes to your user without them having access to the front-end editor. The first thing you will have to do if you want to create a new site for your potential client will be to start off by selecting one of the themes. So let's assume here I'll be starting an acupuncture theme I select that I want to use the photo pack and click on add. It creates a new site which has a unique URL. So there it goes. If I open up this site without logging into the site, you will see that it automatically authenticates as an administrator. So this is the account that, um, uh, that I'm using, which also accesses the studio. Uh, which has now also access to this site. But if you want to make modifications here and, and show them to your client, of course, you want to give your clients access to this site as well. Uh, modified, let me just modify here something in the content so that you can see what's going on. If you want your client to see those modifications, uh, then you can simply create a new account on this particular site and uh, give access to that specific account. Um, using WordPress. So simply go to the WordPress backend and from the WordPress backend go to the users section. Let's get rid of these annoying pop-ups. Go to the users section and click on add new. Click on close for this other annoying pop-up there and uh, simply hit the um, uh, enter the information here and then hit the the blue button at the bottom. So the username would be I don't know uh, Mr. X. This will be the username that your that your client will use to log on to the system. The email will be his or her email address. I will use this temporary Hotmail account. This will be uh, James Brown, and the website is not relevant. The password that's the one that you need to uh, um, uh, need to think about how, which one you want to use. I will simply use ABC one two three. A, B, C, one, two, three. This is very weak one. I would recommend you use a more complicated one. And um, you can check this box to send this password, that the one that you just created and entered here, to this email account. And then you can decide the role. If you use the subscriber, that means the user will be able to log into the system, but will not be able to do anything in the front-end editor and also not do anything in the back-end. So this would be the safest option to use the subscriber. You can also use other roles here, but let's, uh, for, this, uh, for the sake of simplicity of this demo, let's assume you don't, want your, uh, you don't want your client to make any modifications, but just to browse on how the site is, is looking. So use subscriber here and then click on add new user. And at the moment you add a new user, the system will send an email uh, to that particular account. So in this case, I was using the Outlook. Uh, the Hotmail one I'm using here, the online outlook.com website. And you will you see that we just received this uh, notification. So Mr. X was the username and ABC is the password. So if you want your clients to take a look, uh, this is the URL they can uh, use. This is a temporary URL as you can see. And uh, let me click on this one. Uh, and before I click I will uh, log off of this environment. So I will say here log out. I'm no longer logged in and here we can see how it would look like for your client. So click on this link and uh, as you remember it's Mr. X and it was ABC123 and um, so your client will enter this information, hits the login box and then he goes to the profile and from here he can say visit the site and this is the one that we uh, are creating. And as you can see, the front-end editor is disabled for the, um, for the subscriber role. So the user cannot do anything here other than just browse the site and see if he likes what he is uh, seeing here. All right, I hope this was helpful. I hope by now you've learned how you can use the studio to set up new sites and how you can modify things there yourself uh, as a administrator user and how you can create a new user account for your users such that they can browse the site in a read-only way. If you have any more questions about the studio or any of the features that we offer or any of the services, then please don't hesitate to contact us because we'll be happy to help you out.
Thanks for watching.